Nina Curley of WAMDA Media. I'm here at WebRazi with Axel Bringius of Spotify. Axel, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Very glad to be here in Istanbul. Excellent. Um, so, chat with us about the talk you just gave. Why is access the future of media consumption when it comes to music? Well, I mean, uh, with, uh, with uh, internet connections getting better and better, spreading to basically being available everywhere and with, with hardware becoming better and better, I mean, access is completely limitless. Whereas, whereas ownership, I mean, you can only own so many things, own so many, many, many files. With, uh, with access, you know, you have everything. And it's actually, actually, you know, it's faster to start stream a song, streaming a song in Spotify than uh, clicking on uh, an MP3 and waiting for it uh, to uh, play. Are you looking to expand into the Middle East and North Africa anytime soon? I mean, our ambition is to be everywhere in the world. We're now in, 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 in about 15 countries, and I mean, we're standing here in, in Istanbul. Turkey is obviously a, an extremely interesting uh, future market, and uh, we want to be everywhere in the region eventually, but uh, it's too soon to talk about a, a date just yet. How do you compete in markets with piracy, with a lot of piracy? So, so people often ask us what our competition is. One, if, if we compete with other streaming services and fight for, fight for market share, or two, if we, if we cannibalize on downloads. But our, our only real competition is actually music piracy. So we see that in all markets where we launch, piracy declines or almost you know, disappears completely because the reason for, for, for people you know, having, having downloaded music illegally in the past has been that there you know, has not been a good enough legal alternative. The illegal alternative hasn't been good, but it's been better than the legal ones. And with Spotify and other streaming services, you suddenly have a, a legal alternative that is just so much better, and for either for free with advertising or for a fairly attractive, attractive monthly uh, subscription fee. You mentioned that you have now 50 to 60 apps built for built based on the Spotify platform. Like for instance, some indie musician building an app that by, through which he can sort of stream his music on Spotify. Do you see Spotify cannibalizing the downloads market, or do you see it enhancing the number of downloads for these musicians? I mean, yeah, we have many different APIs which uh, which uh, partners can build on. Partners, everything from sort of you know small-time entrepreneurs to to record big record labels to to indie indie musicians, and uh, many use them to sort of promote their their uh, their music. And then again, uh, you know, we have seen we have seen examples of, of of labels who have both a download business and then their music uh, on Spotify. And uh, you know, they when the streams increase on Spotify, so do their downloads. Uh, but again, we want to look at sort of the, the big picture and, the, and look at average revenue per user for the industry, not really download versus streams. Argami is the platform that um, is now launching in the Middle East, essentially to be a sort of Spotify for the Middle East. You may be familiar with it. Um, what would your strategy be when it comes to entering the Middle East? Would you look to partner with someone like them, acquire someone like them? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with them. Uh, I've, I've even tried it. It's a pretty cool service. Um, uh, and when we, when we launch in a market, we, you know, we try to do it ourselves because we've seen that we, we have been very successful in all the markets we, we have, uh, have launched in. And again, when we launch in a market, we do not sort of take away the market share of the incumbents if there are incumbents because you know, as of now, the, the, the cake in itself is expanding so much that uh, we're not really fighting for the pieces just yet. So, uh, yeah. I see. Well, thanks so much. We look forward to your eventually entering MENA. Thank you.